Hi everybody, I'm Philip Goodman from the Drewsdale Real Estate Group at Keller Williams Group One Inc. in Reno, Nevada. And today I am at the Lighthouse Coffee Shop on the Sparks Marina with fellow real estate agent Larry Dibble. Hi Larry. Hi, how are you? I'm doing well. Good. Thanks for coming out today. Absolutely. Larry, you've lived here in Sparks for the better part of a decade now. What makes Sparks so, so interesting, so different, and so up and coming? Well, Sparks is, uh, the first thing about Sparks that I like to talk about is the fact that it's, it's literally uh, next door neighbor to Reno. Reno's a massive town, um, a great, great town, and, but Sparks is, is like a bedroom community for me, and that's what actually drew me to Sparks. Um, it basically is, uh, it's an up and coming community. Um, it's, uh, there's, there's, a, there's a ton of things to do in Sparks, um, but the best thing about it is you, you've got Reno right next to it, and you've got a bedroom community, which is Sparks, and, it's a, just a nice, really, really nice family place to live. And speaking of places to live, there's not a lot to go around in the Reno Sparks area. We see new apartment construction right behind us, and there's several new housing developments coming around Sparks and north of it. Correct, correct. Yeah, we've got uh, just the marina itself has seen a massive growth in the last three or four years. Uh, just behind the marina over here, we've got a, a really big apartment complex coming in. Um, and beyond that, another two or three coming in. So that's going to help fill in the, the housing uh, crisis that we're in, per se. Um, and then in the area itself, and just in Sparks, there's about uh, five or six really big new, uh, new home construction uh, developments coming in. Well, Larry, let's take a look inside Market Insights and see exactly what has been happening in the Sparks market, at okay. least for the last three months. Sounds good. Here we are in Market Insights from the Reno Sparks Association of Realtors and we have filtered the data to show single family homes and condos because there's a pretty big chunk of condos out here in the Sparks area. Correct. And we are looking specifically at July, August and September. So Larry, how are things trending in Sparks for single family homes and condos? Well, as a natural progression as we go into the fourth quarter and the fall, we we tend to uh, start dropping down in sales. Um, that's that's indicative of what you see on the screen there. Um, uh, ironically, though, uh, the condominiums have uh, have taken a peak up. So um, I think that's something to do with the uh, the market as well. And as is typical, the roller coaster that is the units sold in the Reno Sparks area, everything peaks in July and starts to dip down in September. And as we head into the winter. Correct, correct. It's, it's indicative of the market that we're going into the fall, so we're going to be dropping down in units sold. Um, by no means is this an indication of a correction or anything like that. It's just a natural progression. Um, condos, so condos are slowing down a little bit, and your home prices are still getting just about close to asking right now. Well, Larry, let's talk about average days on market for properties around Sparks. Yeah, so naturally uh, during the summer, uh, things stay on the market less because it's a hot market and people are buying more homes at that time. Once we get into the third, fourth quarter and we uh, start going into the fall season, um, things tend to stay on the market a little bit longer as naturally they slow, the sales slow down a little bit. And we see right here we're looking at about 78 days on market average for condominiums and just shy of that for single family homes. And typically we'll start seeing even more price reductions as sellers become even more motivated to sell. Correct, correct. Throughout the rest of the year we'll see that. Not a significant indication of any sort of market stall, but we are seeing a slowdown a little bit. Larry, now we're looking at the Market Insights summary for September 2018. And how do these numbers and median home price, units sold, and days on market compare to September of last year and the uh, previous month? So the previous month, we're just down uh, about a half a percent. Um, and then for the prior year, uh, we're uh, year over year, we're up eight, eight and a half percent, almost nine percent, uh, sitting at about three hundred thirty-eight thousand for median sold price for homes in the area. And then, and then for uh, for units sold, we're uh, we're at one hundred fifty-seven. So it's about it's down about twenty-one percent, um, which is indicative of a slower market throughout the fall. And we're down about sixteen and a half percent year over year from last year. Um, and in two thousand seventeen, we saw some. A crazy high number of sales, and that's that's naturally going to plateau. Correct. It was it was one of the record years for sales for sure. Is there a correlation between inventory and days on market? You can, and the answer to that is simply uh, yeah, is a slight. It has a slight uh, factor to it, uh, but not enough to make it um, a huge difference right now. And as you can see, the thirty-seven days to contract and seventy-seven days on market doesn't have 
it's not that much different than it was last year. As a matter of fact, we're up in all four segments. Month supply of inventory. Right now we're at 2.3. Typically we see uh, a shift in the market from sellers to buyers when it gets around four. Correct. So we still have to increase by another 400% before our inventory, our month supply of inventory starts getting, starts affecting uh, the market shifting to a buyer's market. We have a long ways to go is what that means. So there you have it. That is your market watch update for the third quarter for the town of Sparks. Coming up here in October, my favorite holiday, Halloween. Larry, what are you doing for Halloween? So Halloween in Sparks uh, is the one of the main events is at downtown uh, Victorian Square. They put on a nice, uh, nice family event for all the kids and all the families that come in. And then, of course, since Bar Sparks is a bedroom community, uh, there's a really safe place to go trick or treating in most of every single community out here. So it's a great place. Are you dressing up this year? Uh, I absolutely will dress up as a real estate agent. That's exactly what I'm dressing up as. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Well, make sure you go to Larry's Open House for the best candy on you the bet. block. That's right. Right on. Well, if you want more information uh, about anything that you've seen here today, or if you're ready to go look at homes here in Sparks with Larry Dibble, you can contact Larry at the information you see on your screen now. Hopefully you found this information helpful and you'll share it on your social media as well. For the Drewsdale Real Estate Group at Keller Williams Group One Inc. in Reno, Nevada, for Larry Dibble, I'm Philip Goodman. We'll see you next time. Thanks. All right, third time's a charm. Here we go. Three, two, one. Uh, oh, and also uh, start with a big smile if you can. Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, the, the laughing smile, that gotcha. works. All right. All right, cool, because if you come in like deadpan, like. Three, go ahead, we're good. <laughs> Three, two, one.